you guys are doing? Woo! It's me, Seifa. Welcome back to my channel. It's Ramadan day eight, is it? Oh my god, it has to be. I think it's Ramadan day eight, and uh, oh my god. I'm so excited. But the days are going so fast. Why are they going so fast? We need to change these moments. These holidays are amazing. So here's another Ramadan vlog. Rama vlog. Ramadan vlog, okay? Um, we are still doing the Ramadan daily. I know I miss a day and I think I'm gonna miss another day. I, I have a feeling, you know? I have a feeling. It's really hard to edit this at night. I'm really tired, I'm really full. I'm, you know, I don't know. I just wanna relax. Anyways, my house is clean right now. The carpet is over there. The, the carpet is over there. The carpet is over there. It needs to be set back and everything. Uh, it's getting mopped and cleaned. But I am going to go cook. Um, we're going to start with a Turkish naan. Okay? We're going to have a Turkish bread naan with some butter and chili flakes and garlic. Yes, and I think we're also gonna have butter chicken with that. I'm so excited. Let's go start getting cooking because it's already late. You guys know I'm always late, okay? It's 3 12, so it's not that bad, but let's just go and get started, okay? Oh my god, today you guys, I woke up and I was like, well, you know what? Let me just wear something that is not Adira for once. So I tried to look for a top, I wore the top, and then I was looking for bottoms and I was like, oh my god, if I wear a skirt, then oh my god, if I wear jeans, then I can't easily pray, if I wear this, I can't even find normal trousers because my, my room is a mess, we don't have a cupboard in there yet. So then I decided, okay, then if I'm not going to wear a dira, I'm going to wear another dress, just a dress. <laughs> so I'm wearing this uh, very cute dress. Yeah, so instead of Adira, I'm wearing that. And this, I'm wearing because I just prayed and I think I'm just gonna chill with it, okay? Yeah. There's no fashion here, okay? It's Ramadan. There's no fashion ever. I have some hot water and to that, I'm going to be adding uh, instant, soft instant yeast and let that sit for a little bit. In a standing mixer, I'm gonna add uh, one kilo of flour. Actually, just a little bit under one kilo. It's actually 800 grams of that. This is a one cup of milk, some salt, and a cup of yeast. Now I'm going to start by kneading this with my hand and then I'll actually later use a machine because I don't think I'm good at kneading. I just can't do it man. So I'm just going to try and incorporate this and then knead it properly till it's nice and soft using um, a machine. Alright people, alright people. Yes. After this I think we're going to go make the sweet uh, tambi, the sweet spaghetti I told you guys about. I know y'all have never heard of that I think if you're not in Tanzania or at least some of the Arab countries. I don't think you eat spaghetti with uh, with sugar, but this looks good. So I'm just going to continue kneading this and then I'll use the machine and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like, okay? OMG guys, I forgot to add oil to this. Okay, I'm going to be adding olive oil. I don't know if you guys will, will be able to see me, but I'm going to be adding olive oil to this. See, see? Olive oil in here, okay? It's around four tablespoons of olive oil. Now let me finish kneading and I will come back. Okay guys, I just plugged it in. I didn't uh, on the machine yet. It, I needed it to that level and then now I'm going to switch on the machine to do the rest because I'm tired. <laughs> that was enough. So let's just see how this does. That looks good so let's see and let me get it out of here I can't do this with one hand so you guys are gonna have to wait mm, it looks nice and soft oh it's a little bit sticky so I don't want it this sticky actually I might add a little bit of flour 
just so it's not this this sticky and hard to work with so i'm just gonna add just a tiny bit of flour and do that again for another one or two minutes just so that it's not this much okay i put some olive oil on top of it and then i'm gonna massage and get rid of the olive oil and then i'm just gonna let this uh sit cling film cover it up and let it rise hope it rise let's hope it rise okay i finished uh, kneading the dough and everything so i have to wait for it to rise it might take like an hour or so what time is it and i think the chicken will also be like a curry chicken so i cannot wait okay okay and now i'm gonna pray first and then i'm gonna show you the recipe of the um, what do you call it tambi sweet spaghetti so let me just pray i'll put you guys over here where you cannot see me Hello my loves, while well, my um, Turkish bread uh, flour dough is still rising upstairs, oh my god you guys, um, uh, for the past few days, like uh, I think yesterday or the day before yesterday, we actually tried to make this bread called mandazi and the flour wouldn't rise, so I think the yeast has a problem and I used the same yeast today and I don't know if it's gonna work, okay, the flour took, uh, the dough took three days to rise, it's actually rising today, which is three days later from when we actually tried to make the mandazi. So let's just hope that I have some bread upstairs after a little while because if it doesn't rise, I'm... Okay, so I'm going to make some... Uh, uh, right now I'm going to make some chicken. We have some chicken over here. We have some chicken over here that's washed and it has some pepper and some uh, salt. Kaikachungi. You know, it wasn't me who did this, so I'm not sure what else they put. I didn't want to put anything, but it's fine that they have something in here, but I'm not sure if we have salt or not in here. Really don't know, but I think she would put salt, right? If she put everything yes. else. So it just looks like it has some pepper and maybe salt. It's fine. Um, I have some oil here. Let me heat it up. So we have some oil over here. And uh, to this, I think I really love the taste of, I really love the taste of ghee. So, we're just going to be adding just a little bit of ghee, just because I want it to taste. I don't know, I love ghee. Okay, so a little bit of that. Let that heat up a little bit, and then we're going to start adding the spices. Okay? For the spices, we have, what is this, um, cinnamon stick? We have some chilies, uh, three chilies, and we have some small chilies. My brother is gonna kill me today because this is gonna be spicy. We have a lot of chili. Maybe I should stop that. A lot of dried chili. We have a bay leaf, two bay leaves, actually one, and this is a small half. And I put some um, coriander seeds, just a little bit of those. I put some cardamom. I think I put like three or four cloves of cardamom. Okay, um, I also put some mustard seeds. I don't know if you guys know mustard seeds. This is what they look like. These are mustard seeds. This is what I put in here. And this is fenugreek leaves. Fenugreek, yeah, these are coriander. So I'm going to put them all inside and let them fry for a little bit. So the spices are kind of fry now. This is quite a bit of oil, man, but this is olive oil. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Maybe I'll reduce it in a little bit once I add the chicken. I might reduce a little bit of this oil. Now that those are nice and fine, I'm going to add a little bit of onion. This is one big onion, one white big onion, and a really small red onion. And fry that until translucent. Now, that the onions are getting nice and translucent. I'm gonna add that is some um, garlic and chili paste. Garlic and chili paste. Fry that for a little bit. Be careful because the garlic um, burns easy, so be very careful. Just frying that for like a minute. Getting all fragrant. Wow, beautiful. Smells really good in here. So I'm adding a little bit of salt to that. Now that that's cooked through, I'm going to add uh, the chicken. Oh my god, you guys! Okay, this is what happened. Basically, we weren't filming. So after I added the onions and the garlic, I think we filmed to that, I added the chicken. 
I kind of just mix the chicken around and then I started by adding some red chili powder, some garam masala, red chili powder, garam masala, and now I'm adding some uh, turmeric. You didn't miss that much, I just added the chicken, okay guys, just the chicken. I'm adding some turmeric and now I'm going to fry this up. Yeah, I think this will be nice and spicy. You guys remember the spice? Some red chili, some um, actual chilies. This looks good. I'm going to frying this for a little while and then we're going to add the coconut milk and we are nearly there, baby. Hello guys, now that this has been frying for a little bit, I think it's soaked up all the spices. I'm going to add a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt. You know what, it's always better to have less salt than more salt. So I'm going to be very careful here. Because I can't taste it and I don't like to taste it. I'm also going to add a little bit, a little bit of lemon pepper. And then that's it really, this is a very simple dish. Now it's actually time for the coconut milk. So I have a few here, I think I'm going to need like three maybe, most probably. So. Cut that open and start pouring it in. Yeah. Looking at this too, I think I'm going to definitely need a third one. You know, because we're having this with bread, I actually want it to be a little bit more saucy than this. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to this and actually clean those and put them in there. Just a tiny bit of water to actually clean the rest of the coconut in there. And that will also increase some of the liquid. 65 ml. 65 ml is in here. So I use three of those. Now actually I'm just going to cover this up and let it cook slowly until the coconut is, coconut is nice and... Oh my god, it smells so good. You smell it. Do you want it? Okay, so I just took it out of the fire and it's done. Look at it. It looks so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now to this, I'm going to add some fresh leaves. You guys know I like me some something fresh. So this is fresh coriander and fresh um, mint. Mint leaves. I'm just going to give that a little bit of a stir. Not really. I'm going to add this before it cools down too much. I'm going to pop this. Now, I should give it a taste, but I'm praying... I'm fasting it. Okay. I think I think we don't have enough salt, so I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. I hope I'm right. Oh, I hope I'm right. Just a little bit. If anyone wants more salt, they can add it themselves. I don't want it to be too salty. By the way guys, the yeast did not budge. It looks the same. So what I did is added a bit more yeast, new yeast that was just bought. And I also um, kneaded it a little bit more so that the yeast goes in and I put it back. I had chapati yesterday. I had chapati a few days ago. I don't want chapati today. I mean, I don't mind it, but oh. If it has to come to your party, then there will be chobati. There we have it. Coconut curry chicken. It's done. Now we're going to have to start on the sweet, sweet tummy. Sweet spaghetti. Okay. It's time for the sweet spaghetti. Sweet spaghetti. <laughs> so while this gets hot, uh, we're going to add some oil. I'm going to add a little bit of oil in here. Maybe that's enough. And then, I'm going to take the spaghetti. Oh, originally, we make them with specific specific tambi. So this is just because, you know, when you really crave it and you don't have the specific tambi that we have in Zanzibar, I think, in Zanzibar? I don't know where it's from. 
but it's everywhere. I think it's also here in Dar and Tanzania. This is against Italians, but this is tambi. This is not spaghetti. Come on. Them. I, think I should have cut them more, but I can't do that now. I'm trying to get burnt, you see, you see? You see? Find this for a little bit until it changes color, it becomes a nice brown, golden brown. That's nearly there. I don't want to completely burn it. I think that's enough. And okay, this is the coconut cream. I'm just gonna add that in water. You can actually just do this without the coconut cream. You can just do water. That's what I normally do. But today I wanted. Uh, I was feeling coconuts today. You know, coconut cream, chicken, coconut cream, tabby. So I'm gonna add the coconut cream in the water right here. I'm just gonna add the water. Maybe I should switch it on. I'll switch it on a bit. Okay, I'm adding that, and that is definitely not enough because this this tambi is not cooked at all, and it's really pretty crispy, and you want it to really get cooked. So if you've made pasta before, I'm just gonna try and cover it with water. So I'm gonna add a bit more. That's definitely not enough. That's enough water. I'm just trying to really just put it in so that every part is like. Uh, Immersed in some water. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to now cover that up and let that cook until the This is typical of Tanzania and Africa. Our power just cut. Power went off. Power is gone. So I was making the tambi and you guys that's uh, I don't know how to explain it to you anymore. I know you already saw the um, Chicken, at least you got one recipe. This tambi here is just gonna cook till it's nice and soft and then I'm gonna add a buttload of uh, sugar, maybe four or five tablespoons of sugar so it's gonna be really sweet. It's like a dessert but we eat it with everything. We even eat it with salt. So I don't know, we just like sugar and sweet. So that's all that's gonna happen there. You guys have seen it, it's a very easy recipe. Just really, 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 really wait for it to dry. Add some sugar, okay? A little bit of oil if you want to fry it up a bit more or the oil that's already inside and that's it. So if you guys, uh, if there's no more power from now onwards, you're not gonna see me make the paratas. I'm so sorry. And guys, I don't know, see ya guys. If I don't come back, I don't come back. There's no power and it's really late, so it's gonna be dark. Okay, if uh, I'm gone, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and pray for us. Pray that the power comes back by the time we eat, because it's not fun eating with the dog, right? No, it's not. Not at all. Can't even see what you're eating. So yeah, please pray for us. See you guys. Bye. Mwah. Okay, it's pretty much cooked. Oh my god, it's still dark. So, but I'm adding some sugar. So you guys can see, I'm adding. That's the third tablespoon, and that's actually the fourth tablespoon. And whatever I add, it's never gonna be enough. It's never enough of sh enough sugar. I don't know how I do that all the time. So just add, and just add, and just add. That looks good to me. That looks, that looks really good. And because of the coconut milk, it smells really amazing. I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar. I know you guys think it's gonna be very sugary, but it's gonna dry out. Once it dries out, after this settles for a little bit, you're not gonna taste so much of the sugar. I don't know how that happens. I add so much sugar and it's never enough. But guys, this is it. This is the tambi. I'm gonna actually now just put it in a hot pot and we're done with this part of the video. So you guys, I'm gonna say this again. Bye bye. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because my, it's gonna go up. I'm not gonna be able to record. It's so dark. Okay, so see you guys bye. next time. Bye. Guess what? The ball came back, okay? And I'll see you guys in a little bit, okay? So thank God, the power came back. We're not gonna eat in the dark. So I'm just adding the butter on this hot bread. Anini, what do you call it? 
preferably you do it right after you just bake you just cook the bread so that you don't have to carry them like I'm doing right now all right It's hot. Yeah. You put uh, the butter in. <gasps> huh? Butter and what? Butter and chili flakes and coriander. Very simple. I don't. I didn't have garlic, man. This is um. These are sweet balls. So she's just frying them. How did you make that? The flour. It's called rupee mat. The flour has a uh, flour. What else? Yeast. The flour has flour. <laughs> Three cups of flour. Yeast. One cup. Of Yeast. One packet of yeast. I'm giving you guys a quick one, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of, one tablespoon of yogurt, and that's it. And then, a and a cup of milk. And a little bit of the, the recipe is becoming too long. And a little bit of cornstarch. Oh, and then you just whisk it until uh, it's nice and it becomes it. It's, it's not very thick. It's like a pancake. Yeah, it's like pancake right. mix. See, see over here. See over here. It's not very thin. It looks like this, right? Apa would you eat anything? This is what it looks like. It's not supposed to be like a thick dough. This is a thin dough. And then you just uh, divide it into balls. You know, one by one. You just take the balls, take the dough and put it in here. So you're making balls and you're frying them all out. After you fry them all out, they look like this, nice and golden. And then on top of this, we're going to add some condensed milk. Susu. You can put it either that way. You can add syrup. Or yeah, you can either add syrup or you can add this. I prefer this over syrup. I don't know why. But yeah. Yum, 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 yum. So good. And the tambi, the sweet spaghetti. This is so good. Please try it. Try it. Please, guys, and try it. This chicken is so good. Please, guys, try it. And this bread is so amazing. Try it. Oh my god, it's so spicy. So make sure you have it. Make sure you try this recipe, okay? Okay. Bye, bye. I'm such a baby man. Hello, guys. I never come back to say goodbye. Like, no, not never. But in the last two videos, I think I didn't come back and say goodbye. So I'm back again telling you guys bye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, uh, comment, like down below, please. When you do like, you're going to help support my channel. So if you'd love to support my channel, please do that by liking, by sharing, and by commenting. And I will see you guys. Please let me know where you guys are from. First of all, I really want to know where you guys are from and how's Ramadan there. How are you fasting one more time? Let me know about your city and how Ramadan is going. If you're fasting with us and uh, I'll see you guys in another video bye Mwah.